let us take a look of this problem called closest pair problem uh, we have discussed this before under the brute force design strategy or design technique uh, what is the brute force as a recap find the two closest points in a set of n points in the two dimensional cartesian planes this problem fall under the geometric problems under the brute force algorithms in order to solve this to find the pair of the two points which is closest each, each other so we need to compute the distance between every pair of distinct point and return the indexes of point for which the distance is the smallest for example we have here let's say this is actually the point the uh, x y coordinate in terms of x and y coordinate from the observation here we can see that these two the red color here might be the closest one but now we can observe because we have um, a small instance here the points based on the brute force uh, algorithm or brute force design strategy for closest pair here um, we have the list of p p is the point uh, n greater than or equal to 2 p1 xy and yy pn where we have uh, more than two points three above equal to at xn and yn in term of coordinate we have the coordinates x here and coordinate y where we have the point here okay and output indices index one index two of closest pair of points so we return the index here the index two index here because they are uh, represent uh, x and y where actually they represent the, the points to the pair of these um, points which is closest to each other and we start with the uh, find the minimum here if we look at here basically this is actually the uh, Euclidean distance to find the distance of each uh, object let's say we have a n time n uh, metric here n time n metric object you have to find all the distant metric here and lastly we need to find the minimums uh, but the minimums uh, distance for each point that's why for this it will take um, because we have a n object try to compare an object so we have a uh, in term of time you see we have n squared look at this uh, example here uh, we we have a uh, 10 object here a b until the j here with the coordinate here x y 1 1 here uh, b 2 5 here this are actually the cartesian uh, planes the points we have a uh, 10 points here and for the brute force basically we just calculate the metric here and 10 times 10 here this n time n and this is the diagonal because uh, this a and a there's no distance b and b there's distance because uh, we compare with uh, owns uh, points so finally after you use the uh, calculation i mean the uh, euclidean distance and finally we got this the result the distance e and f which is the lowest here which is the minimum 1.4 compared to others so we can conclude that them uh, e and f here which is e e and f here actually the closest pair based on the group of style but now we only have 10 just imagine we have millions points so how it to calculate uh, by using the uh, distance metric here end up with n squared this is not so efficient okay once we understand the uh, concept of uh, problem of closest pair and the solutions using the brute force we have a uh, another solution that more efficient in terms of time as you see from the log uh, from the n squared become n log n the 
solution here called uh, closest pair by divide and conquer. So look at these uh, algorithms or the pseudo code here. We have this uh, call that efficient closest pair where we pass a p which is point and q also the point here. What is the p? What is the q? So look at this uh, description. P is actually an array for the n, uh, which is an uh, n point number of point greater than equal to two in the Cartesian plane sorted, which is sorted in non-discrete order based on the x coordinate. Sorted based on the x coordinate. Uh, for the q, another uh, parameters here input q of the sum point sorted of the same point sorted in non-decreasing order based on the y coordinate so we have p based on the x coordinate q based on y coordinate okay output Euclidean distance between the process pair or point where we uh, need to find the two pair of the points which is closest each other and if n which is the number of points less than equal to 3 if we have a minimum uh, uh, small instant here so just uh, use the brute force in order to find the, uh, the, the pair of the crosses else greater than 3 4 onward above so we have to copy n over 2 point of, of p to array p1 so we have two copy here p this is not p1 pl which is actually partition for the p for the left and we have another here p for the r so we have divide into two sub array pl for the left uh, pr for the right and the same thing with the q q actually the uh, the point we have uh, sorted by y coordinate uh, divide into two divided into two as well similarly to the p so become ql which is q for the left and q for the right okay and after that, we pass this as a recursive P1, P, uh, PL, and PQL here to this uh, because this is a recursive process. And to find that the distance for the left and distance for the right as the same that we have to calculate the, uh, the, the, the distance using the Euclidean distance, fi uh, finally uh, find that the distance for this and distance for this. And uh, next is we have to because it is split into two the left and the right with uh, some mediums uh, uh, line there so we need to find that we have two distance here distance for the left and distance for the right and finally we need to have uh, the distance which one the, uh, the minimum for this distance for the left and distance right and assign to the d here and the next step is we need to divide for the p here the point based on the x coordinate here based on the connect that, that's why we use the p here p because they're sorted based on the uh, coordinate x and sorted and after that we can get the median value then we can split into two by n over two here and half here and we have the value of n and from there basically we need to find that whatever point where x minus m here the value of n let's say we have the 10 just now the value of uh, m could be 5 and we need to find the coordinate values of x for the object here here less than uh, d here and take all the point here into the temporary array here 0 to n minus 1 we don't know how many uh, point here depends on the uh, this uh, conditions and after that we try to find the minimum because the minimum we got just now from the left and from the right would be the not necessary this become the closest pair because in between sometimes uh, we, we we found that the 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 closest pair is actually cross from the points from the is pair from the point from the left and also point from the uh, right uh, this is the problems so finally when we uh, have that candidate of this uh, point 
uh, actually into this array based on this condition so we have to find the minimum for that compared to the minimum for the distance 1 and this uh, distance L and distance right just now okay just now I give you brief overall or overview of the idea of closest pair using divide and conquer now we, we go into more details uh, based on our example just now we have we have a uh, 10 point here is this coordinate so if you still remember that we have to establish two arrays uh, called p and q this are p here but this p sorted by the x coordinate here and this q sorted by the uh, y coordinate here and after that for the p we need to divide into two sub array as a uh, principle of uh, divide and conquer they become pl here and p r here pl actually uh, the subset or the sub array for the left and the sub array for the right since we have only uh, 10 we need that you divide uh, 5 5 here and finally we have to calculate the distance for each uh, sub problem here and found that this is the distance actually for the left, uh, the pair of the clauses is D and E here because the minimum 2.24 uh, and for the second uh, problem of sub uh, instance sub uh, problem here, we found that the minimum is from F and H considerably uh, the same um, uh, distance. Now, we got already DL and DR, which is represent the distance, minimum distance, the pair, uh, closest pair for the left and closest pair for the uh, right. Now we, we have to find that the minimum distance for this, where we have the main here, D uh, left and D right. We find the D here, which is the minimum. Now the minimum actually basically the same which is 2.24 as we found just now we have two closest pair two pair of pair of point the closest point the left uh, p p left so we found that uh, d and e here for the right is f and h here the issues now how are you going to choose which one actually the closest pair we can compare these two but accidentally we found that this the distance is 2.24 and here also 2.24 maybe uh, two are actually the closest pair but still remember we have the trick here to divide into two sub here which the medium here when we sort this and it might be the closest point here is E and F. If you observe this manually from our observation here, clearly this is actually the closest pair, not for DL and DR here. The point for the PR and the point for the P left here. But now, based on the algorithm here, we need to copy here. Mm -hmm all the 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 distance x minus m the m here is is 5 x is so we need to find that these are the this dl the minimum distance just now uh, equal to 2.24 right and so 2.4 basically the object that we can scope it uh within this this uh, this 2.24 this 2.4 could be here of course here this object ef d as well and could be b and g here so we have choose here in the array where we put in the array called the s here so g b e d here and finally based on the q just now we have the sorted y coordinate we have to find that the uh for this object here 
let's say G, the uh, Y is a 3 year, for the B, Y is a 5 year, for this uh, F is 7, uh, E is 8, and D is 10. So, we can get the distance here. This 3 and 5, which is this term 2, this 5 and 7 also 2, but this 7 and 8, 1, and this 8 and 10, 2. Now, the minimum distance here uh, for this, uh, where we have the D uh, minimum here, compared to DL and DR, so we have other this uh, D min here. So we found that this actually E and F is the closest pair as compared to the point that we found just now D and F O H and F. Finally, finally, uh, this is actually the closest point for the P1. We found it in P1. This is the closest pair. We found it in P. Uh, sorry, this are P left. And this are PR on the right. But this PL and PR are not the closest pair. We found another closest pair which is in the strip here. Uh, lie on this the uh, what we call this re rectangle here and this is actually the closest pair and similarly with the uh, brute force just now we found E and F but here actually uh, the in term of the design technique using the divide and conquer okay now let us take a look on this issue of the APC, I mean time, actually running time of the algorithm using the uh, divide and conquer. We know already for the brute force end up with n squared. But for the uh, divide and conquer, in terms of recurrent here, where we have the t of n, 2 times t, n over 2 and half here, plus m n, where m n uh, is element of all n. So finally, based on the master theorem, A equal to 2, B equal to 2, and D equal to 1. And end up with uh, O, B, O, N, log N. To make it more interesting comparisons, uh, different, the same problem called closest pair, but in terms of solutions, design technique, we have two different uh, implementation, one using brute force, another one using divide and conquer. We can see that the comparison here, uh, brute force approach require comparing every point with every other point. So let's say we have 10 uh, points, we have to compare another 10 because in order to get the distance metric, we need to compare both n times n. Given n point, we must perform 1 plus 2 plus 3 this is actually the pattern and finally end up with this we have a, a k k equal to 1 and m minus 1 where end up with n minus 1 uh, times n over 2 and this actually is a, is a n squared or uh, big o of n squared and as we know that uh, just now we obtain n log n for the divide and conquer Let's uh, we substitute the n. Let's say n one million here. The one million for the n squared here. We can see this actually the running time. For the n log n, we only got the twenty million compared to this uh, n squared. Uh, this how we can see obviously uh, the time complexity difference uh, between these two. Uh, design technique called brute force and divide and conquer.